Druvrati, why are you running away? Scared of my fact-checking or scared to face the truth? Druv, you know what? It seems clear that your poor intellect and your big ego are a match made in hell. But you can heal yourself if you admit to your lies, accept all your mistakes, be accountable to your viewers and stop running away from the truth and facts. So here is my advice. Stop hiding behind the so-called Druvrati squad and be brave enough to face the facts. Druvrati, are you enjoying that your radicalized supporters have been abusing or threatening me and my family for so long just because I fact-checked your video? You could have taken the steps that I suggested to stop your radicalized supporters from threatening or abusing me, but you did not. Of course, I have waited patiently, but it seems that you don't really care about your viewers. But pay attention to this. If you do not apologize to viewers for lying and presenting fabricated content to them, and if you do not admit to all your mistakes or lies in your video that I fact-checked, then eventually I will have no choice but to start fact-checking more videos on your channel so that I, as a fellow content creator, do what I can to protect viewers from what seems to be your willful deceit, foolishness, or just your poor intellect. Kyo Drugrati? Tumko dar lagraha hena meri fact-checking se? Yes, Drug. I have watched more videos of yours. And let me tell you something. They are also full of lies, mistakes, or a lot of misleading information. In other words, you seem to be brainwashing people. And it's our misfortune that it is being allowed to happen on an industrial scale. It is clearly visible that you are politically motivated and your real goal seems to be political manipulation. You cunningly or deceitfully incorporate your political agenda in many of your videos that you claim are educational. Druf, when you present yourself as an educator while spreading politically charged, fabricated, invalid and fake content, it actually makes you look like a con artist. Of course, it seems clear that your real goal is political manipulation and not education. And it also seems clear that you are also implanting a particular political doctrine in innocent, education-seeking, young and vulnerable minds by deceitfully mixing your politically charged content and your political doctrine in topics that sound or appear educational. Druf, that's appalling and corrupt. It's deceptive. It's fundamentally wrong. Very wrong. Now, pay close attention. On March 20th, it is the International Day of Happiness. As mentioned here on this UN website, it is a day to be happy, of course. After I did a friendly fact check on your video on the World Happiness Report 2021, <laughs> maybe you are scared of this day now. Of course, that's understandable. But Ruth, why run away? This day will come every year. Are you planning to run away from my fact checking all your life? Ruth, I want to remind you this. On March 21st, we celebrate the anti-fake news day. Yes, the same day when you foolishly or deceitfully presented this fake content on YouTube, misleading or manipulating more than a million viewers. And yes, I cannot forget that instead of thanking me for my friendly fact-check videos that were intended to help you and your viewers, you showed your true character by using the derogatory term low-level people. So, Druf, here is my open challenge to you. One. I challenge you to use your fake methodology and invalid formula that you have presented to correctly calculate these country scores in the World Happiness Report 2021. Second, you lied to viewers when you claimed that these six factors are used to calculate the so-called final score. Can you prove that? I challenge you. Third, while presenting your fake formula, you foolishly claim that 8 is the highest score. Of course, that's a lie. Now, can you come forward and prove that 8 is the highest score? I challenge you. Druf, the World Happiness Report 2023 is expected to be released soon. It's been around two years since you spread your fake content. So finally, please stop running away, apologize to your viewers, admit to all your lies and if you need help, watch my fact check videos to understand the methodology correctly. And remember, so far in my two fact check videos, I highlighted seven mistakes that you made in just a single video. But of course, in the same video that you posted, there are more mistakes. 
So let me help you and viewers by revealing at least one more mistake from your video. Here you go. Mistake 8. Droof. Your fake methodology, your invalid formula or this imaginary average score that you mentioned here do not affect the country's actual scores or their rank at all. What affects these scores that you see over here is the three-year average that is used to increase the sample size to give more precise estimates. Let me explain this to you in simple words. See this. Yes, as you can see here, the rankings are based on the average of surveys from the three previous years. You can also notice that here, this is the 2021 report, and see what is written over here. You can also notice the same pattern in other reports. This is the 2022 report. See this. Again, the three previous years. Now, the question is, how are these scores calculated which establish these countries' rankings? Of course, not by using Druvrati's fake methodology. And definitely not by using Druvrati's imaginary fake formula. And of course, not by using these six factors. Want to understand why? The scores you see over here are the national average response to the question displayed right here on your screen. Yes, pay attention. The ranking of these countries is based on the results that depend on just a single question. And yes, the cruel irony is that this is not even a direct question about happiness. Yes, it is not just about Druvrati's fake content and fake methodology. It is also important to point out how hollow the actual methodology of the World Happiness Report is. And if you want to learn what these six factors are here for, watch my two fact-check videos that I posted earlier. And yes, as far as the three-year average is concerned, it is important to remember that the survey information is not always available for every single year. And when they face that situation, this is what they do. You can read this here. This is something that can also be confirmed here. So, do you see this? The actual methodology is so different than Druvrati's fake methodology. So yes, it can be said that what Druvrati has presented is not educational content. There is just one word for it. And that is... Trash. Very politely. Once again, I appeal to the YouTuber to self-correct the remaining mistakes in his video on World Happiness Report 2021 so that I do not have to make more explanatory videos to protect viewers from incorrect information. Unfortunately, Druvrati's fake content is still playable on YouTube and it continues to miseducate viewers. Kyo Druvrati? Admit to karo, apne galti oko. Dar ka bhaagne ka kya faeda? Mene kya bola? Hindi Does this YouTuber really believe that he can spread fake content to more than a million viewers, use the term low-level people, and then run away from my fact-checking? It seems very clear that Druvrati is also the source of the same corrupt and rotten mentality that he claims to be fighting against. As long as he doesn't admit to his mistakes and doesn't thank me for my efforts to fact-check his videos, it is very likely that many of his radicalized blind followers will not stop abusing or threatening me and my family. Druf, I did not expose you. I only wanted to help you. But yes, you have already exposed yourself by displaying your poor intellect and poor attitude towards fact-checking. But there is still some time left before I fact-check more videos on your channel. Throw away your ego and be accountable to your viewers. It is about values and principles. Stop running away. Now.